I've been watching this new YouTube channel recently. It's a Turkish chap and he specialises in making his own tools out of metal and wood and all sorts. And some of them I'm really jealous of. And there's one in particular, Best Tool Domino Alternative. So he's made something that does exactly the same job as a Best Tool Domino. And as you know, Festool Dominoes, they're upwards of a thousand pounds to buy. So for someone like me, it's just not feasible. But I've seen this one that he's made and he's left the plans and everything to it. And I'm gonna have a go at making it. I don't know if I'll achieve it because at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure this guy is an engineer. I definitely hang about to the end because there's a couple of things on there I recommend you change. There's a couple of design faults on there and I'll point them out at the end. So hang about, let us know what you think. Now it looks like he used some kind of hardwood there, so I think that's probably a good idea I do the same. I do have some of this rubber tree. Okay, so after that little cutting session, I believe I've basically got together everything that is on the screen now. Well, using that router was scary. Lesson learned, I should have probably got myself a better push stick or perhaps uh, route with a, a larger piece of timber and then cut that down to size rather than me trying to hold in tiny bits of timber above a router like that. That was pretty terrifying, but the job's done. So, got me bits of timber routed. Mine is not as snug as his, so I think I'm gonna have to do something to pack that out or maybe adhere it now. Good old trusty gaffer tape. Okay, so all the bearings are gaffer taped up. They've all got a nice snug fit. And the next stage, he takes the two larger rods. If he pops them in here, he actually glues them in here. I don't want to glue them yet. I need to make sure it's all going to work properly before I start gluing anything. So, two larger rods in there. Then he slips this over. It's going to give a like a glove. Wow. <laughs> so this is our clamp. Now the chap that I'm copying uses some sort of coach bolt to go in here. It's got a, like an Allen key head on it, but just like a standard wood screw thread on this end, which he drills right through there, and then he lets it bite into this half. So when he tightens it, it clamps to the router. I don't have any of those, but I do have these. So I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna incorporate this somehow. Just about ready to glue the clamp on. So we've got the bolts in there, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I've stuck a bit of sandpaper in there just to give it some extra grip. So I'm a little bit worried about it slipping as I'm using it and then ruining your workpiece. Let's get this glued up. I think we need to leave that overnight.
Okay, so I've made a couple of changes to the design. I want a handle on the front of my fence. So I've got another place to support it. So instead of just having a right angle as a bracket for the fence, I've created this. So there'll be two of these, one on either side, and I'll put a handle like a bar through the ends of them, if that makes sense. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. But in, to ensure that I get exactly the same shape twice, I just hot glued a couple of bits of ply together and I'll cut them out on a bandsaw and then I'll separate them again. Yes, essentially, the fence will go like that. I'll have a handle running across the two. Okay, moment of truth. Got our two, two pieces of timber. Draw the line down the middle so we can line up where our domino is going to go. I think I could do with a sharper blade. Remember the truth. I think I need to do some adjustment with the fence. The fence might not be 100% square that way, but first go, pretty damn good. Once I've fine tuned it, I think we're onto a winner. Right, so it's all done. I figured I should really say something about what I would change about the design of this. As you can see, I've already changed the fence. Um, I wanted a handle on there because when I was watching him on the video using it, it looked like he was struggling to get a grip. So I want a decent handle on the front, so I've done that. But the main thing is the way where these bearings are mounted inside these blocks of wood. When I was watching the video, I was thinking, why is he doing it like that? Why don't you just drill a hole and slot them in? And at the time I figured that maybe something to do with when you go to put the whole machine together, it had to be like that. But as it turns out, I can't think of a reason why he did that, but the problem is they're weak. This snagged. I slightly twisted a little bit. The blade snagged and it snapped. Snapped the block of wood that the bearings are in. So I had to quickly laminate another piece of wood on top of it and glue it into place to try and rescue the build. But if I was going to build this again, I think I would just go with thicker bits, slightly bigger bits of wood and I would drill a hole straight through the middle slot the bearing in rather than just notching out that'd be a lot stronger that way obviously i'd put a different handle on but that's only because i happen to have a piece of timber like this and i used these quick release bolts for the fence for adjustment was it worth the effort because it took me a day and a half to build this I'd, quite honestly i don't think it was but it was fun had some fun doing it